Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Valerio from the University of South Carolina School of Music and I'm here to introduce you to Mary Knish. Mary will be joining us for a great course this summer. She's going to tell you about it, but let me tell you a little bit about her. She's the founder of Rhythmic Connections and she's also the director of the Musicianship and Music Leadership Program for Music for People. Check them out, musicforpeople.org. Oh, and she also just won the New Jersey Governor's Award for Outstanding Arts Achievement. We are so thrilled that you're going to be with us, Mary. Thank What's you. What's this class going to be about? Oh, I'm so excited about this class. Um, as a teaching artist, I'm always really excited to bring the creative arts into the classroom and to really expand the possibilities. And so this is Inclusive Music Circles. And it's a beautiful way to bring students together with the idea that you have many diverse voices and we bring them all together in a circle and it includes percussion instruments, pitched instruments, boom whackers, ukuleles, orf instruments, and all kinds of drums and uh, small percussion and voice and movement all coming together, which is why we call it an inclusive music circle, including really all kinds of parts. And they come together with the focus of student engagement, improvisation, learning skills to listen to one another, to connect with one another, use music as a nonverbal communication, and also to collaborate, use music as a way to learn to collaborate with one another and create. We're looking at responsive musicianship. How do students really, now we've been in isolation, how do we open up and use music to really get back in touch, reading each other through their sound, expressive sound, and responding to them? Social emotional awareness uh, and social emotional learning, we're going to be tying key components of SEL into the program as well. One of the things I'm excited about is leadership. And so student leadership empowering not only you as educators to learn very simple tools to step into a music circle and facilitate, meaning you're guiding the group towards its highest potential of sound making and music that they could create. So it's not your job to tell them what to do. It's your job to create a safe space where everyone belongs, everyone's included and heard, and everyone feels safe enough to really take a risk and express who they are in sound. I love this. So you'll learn the skills to facilitate these music circles, but we'll teach you also how to train your students to step into the circle. And for me, this is a big component of classroom management. Yeah. Now, I see you have the QR code up. I do. And if folks, if you'll just take a picture of that and go, it'll take you right to the website where the, you have the brochure that tells you more about the course and how to register there. Are two yeah, and please join us. We are so excited about this new course. So we'd love to have you join us. Thanks, Wendy. Thank you, Susan. Uh -huh.